Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. We're doing party favors today. So um, before we get started, if you haven't subscribed, please do. I appreciate all the support that you can give me. So, all right, um, this is what I did. I went and bought a bunch of party favors or party snacks, really. Cotton candy, candy apple, popcorn, and then I put them into these boxes to more personalize them. And look at, from this, to this, it looks just so much more, I don't know, appetizing and beautiful. So this, if you can imagine like 30 of them, which I will have pictures so that you guys will be able to see because it's for my daughter's birthday. Um, the candy apples come, you know, separately. And so it just, you know, putting it in a box with a sticker and a bow, the cotton candy from these bags, like even if we put the stickers on here, it's still like everything else is like, kind of blah-ish, right? But this kind of looks, you know, like yum. <laughs> so, okay, I bought the boxes from Amazon. So let me show you what that looks like. It comes like this, all flat, okay? This one was advertised for the candy apples because it has a hole, you can see right there, I'm gonna pull this out. It has a hole for the stick. But the problem is, look at how big the box is and look how small my candy apple was. So I had to switch them up. So I ended up using the box that originally I was gonna put cotton candy in. I put the candy apple. That was a different video, so you can watch that. The cotton candy is like this. And I love the idea of mixing the colors too. It just, I don't know, that way the kids don't fight over it. I'm gonna show you how to do this one. So it comes with a protective uh, sheet on it. I recommend, so I pre-folded a bunch of these because I was out of time. I knew I was gonna be stressed for time. I needed to pre-fold them. So I kept the protective sheet on. I would just do it the way I'm doing it right now. Take the protective layer off. If it scratches, it scratches. Uh, I don't think, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and I couldn't, I didn't wanna put the cotton candy in because I was worried it might evaporate. Like if I didn't keep it enclosed enough because you know the box like while it's in the box there's still like little pockets of air that can get in you know so that's why i wanted to wait to the day of to do it so i didn't want to put it in yet but then i didn't want to be folding the boxes the day of as well so that's why i pre-folded the box but i would take off the protective um, sheet all right so i would just like you would cardstock I would fold it both ways so that it's easier for you to put it all together when it's ready to do that. So just quickly bend all your pieces where the creases are. This is super easy to put together. All right, so from the bottom, you put the two little side flaps down first, okay? Then the one with the tab and the little pieces, that goes on next, okay? So I'm gonna fold it like this. Stick your hand inside and go like pull down the two little flaps that come in and then I just pop these in. It's super easy to do. And of course, like, you know, I did 30 of them. So in the end it was like, okay, plop, plop, you're in. And they stay really well. So that's it. You just plop in the two little pieces, open this up. Um, of course, like when you're doing this, I would put on gloves, but I'm gonna be eating this. <laughs> So I'm just gonna open this up and look at how boring this is, right? It's just cotton candy, but there's something about when you open it and it's like fluffy like this, I think it just looks so much better. So I'm gonna put this in like this. I'm gonna open up the blue one. So there's gonna be pink and blue. Then fold the flaps, fold this down, tuck it in, and you've got your cotton candy. I think this looks so much more appetizing and pretty. And you can tie, you know, thank you for coming to Charlotte Scary 7. I did a black, black ribbon. Let me show you what I did with the ribbon. So let me jam this in here. I'm gonna eat this afterwards. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put it to the side. All right. Um, what I did was I, you know, measured, cut this out. Now, 
I have a big sticker. So what I found that was easier for me to go super fast was to, um, to actually use scotch tape on this. So I pre-cut, you know, 30 ribbons. Then I put this down. It's an extra step. But what it does is it puts this in place. So when I put the sticker down, the sticker is so big that it was easier for me to hold on to the sticker and just do the sticker and not try to hold on to the ribbon and put the sticker down. So that's why I did that. I used scotch tape and then I put the sticker on and it looks like this. And then you have 30 boxes of this and it just looks so, so pretty with everything else. So the links are in the description for my Amazon uh, to get these boxes. I'll list all of them even though um, you're only watching the cotton candy one. All right, that's all that there is to it. I did Mylar balloons for this um, party, cotton candy, candy apple, and popcorn. So all separate videos so that you can easily find them. And I will see you on my next video. Please let me know what you want to see, comments, questions, um, special requests so I know what to do next. And yeah, I hope this was helpful. All right, I'm gonna take lots of pictures though. So you, when you see everything put together, it just makes your party so complete. And I think everyone is just kind of awed by it. Like it's like an ooh-ah moment and so pretty and so fun. All right, bye guys.